Welcome here today to a series I got about why school sucks. Or uh, so, first thing I want you guys to say and understand is there's no reason to be up at six or five a.m. or something ridiculous like that just so you can go in there and sleep during class. What is the point of getting up this early? There's no point at all. A lot of jobs you might have to get up that early. A lot of them you don't. This is 2015. It's going to be 2016. We can figure out ways to just make our job whatever we want it to be. So, there is no reason to be up at 6 or 5 in order to go to school. Not to mention, you got the bus ride with a bunch of other people. So, let's not even get to that. Let's just, let's just get to the point where you got to get up at 6. Right? So the, word, the part that's going to make this even worse is the fact that you come back from a full day of school, which is the same as a full day of work. Okay. So the same as full day of work, and then you have, you probably have sports. And then you got to come back to the family that you probably don't like because they're going to yell at you for not doing the work that you have to do because you have an insane amount of work that you need to do in that day. Understand? There's going to be somebody down in the comments is going to be like, why don't you stop complaining? Well, when I'm 15, 16, or even 13, or 14, or even younger than that, I don't want to have to worry about a bunch of work when I'm just trying to figure out who I am, what I'm trying to do, and how to have fun. Because this is time that everyone complains that you don't get back, and it's pretty hard to enjoy it if you have to get up at 6 a.m. every day and just piss your life away. Then you'll see that you're in my situation. And your life goes downhill pretty quickly. So guess what? You and me both know we shouldn't be waking up at 6 a.m. Or even 5 a.m. Because some of us have to do that in order to go to school. 